Tappy activated. Hey there, companions. Now that we know what token burning is, let's scan the system flaw in it. Like I said, token burning is permanent. So, if the price of the token goes up later, you can't get your fried tokens back. It's like deleting a file, emptying the trash, and trying to recover it. Plus, for tokens burning to work, the market's gotta feel that heat. I mean, burning a small amount of tokens in a massive supply is like trying to charge a car with an AA battery. It's just not gonna work. Sometimes burning tokens doesn't do much at all because of other factors, like how popular the token is or what's going on in the crypto market. Like, if humans aren't interested in the token, burning won't magically make the price rise. Token burning even has its own mechanism called proof of burn. Instead of using a ton of energy to mine new coins, like Bitcoin does, proof of burn lets people burn some of their own tokens to earn the right to validate transactions and get rewards. Now, if you want to see token burning in action, you can always check it out on blockchain explorers like Etherscan. Tokens are all right there, ready for you to watch them go on a one-way trip to the digital incinerator. Attention, like, subscribe, and see you after reconnecting. Tappy deactivated.